it's just past 7 a.m. And my GoPro is charging in Hulk. But while that happens, I want to get the this before my forklift starts off floating. What a sight, right? No idea what the load is. They look like those little beakers from a science project. Probably millions of them in here. Buckle the trailer in half. With the load going all the way back there. That pile right there. That's the side of the trailer all crumpled up. But we got ourselves a lot of labor ahead of us. We got one pallet of dozens. So while we're doing this, the other guy backed up his tractor, well, brought up his tractor trailer, the good one. We're gonna load it in there. back in these ones as much as we can and then use our cellophane to keep them all the bottom row at all because the uh, side of the trailer at the bottom and the top ones as well so we're gonna use Hulk with the spreader bar suspend the middle of it to straighten it out and then open up the back and use the pallet jack easy easy Looking good?
it back to itself to stay open. Successfully removed. Now we could use a combination of the pallet jack and the forklift to get all these out. That'll be quite a lot of labor, so I don't think I'll have the gold on for much of that. I'm gonna keep it suspended. Probably a bit higher once it's empty. We're gonna what we do is called cross chaining underneath. We put a chain right there to the front right. And then from the front left to the back right. Bind it up really good, maybe use some wood. And that'll keep the frame intact. So we're able to tow it out of here. them we'll push it to the front and then Enrique and the forklift will be able to grab them so he's currently loading that one I brought in a second forklift just to kind of double up the labor here taking a little longer than I expected so the second forklift an extra man for labor should help a ton Quick update, Hulk is still suspending it. I'm gonna have to go down, huh? Because as we take the load off, there you go. We're about halfway done. That's gonna be the hard part. We've been shoveling like crazy inside of these totes, but you can only do so much. Good job, Vicente. More labor and a second forklift. That's good. Perfect. All right. Do some damage right now. Kick this into overtime. I'm straight now. We're good. Yep, this is nice and even. But we have the spreader bar like right here. But as we offloaded all this, it became very uneven. So we just readjusted it so we can do the back. And then we're almost done. Yeah, it's nice and straight. Or oh, even maybe downhill a little bit. Maybe even uh, so it goes it goes downhill a bit, right? As soon as he lifts up, it's gonna want to come down here better, but not too high of a slope to where it you know gets away from him. New plan, new plan. These ones are stuck up there. Too difficult, even with the two men, to pull it out. So I am gonna use a deck bridge back to which goes to the forklift to a snatch block with the grab hook attached to the pallet jack and we forcefully pull it out these ones are really badly damaged so as we get to the back one it's going to get harder and harder why not use hope all right going in Uh, he's got a race.
raise it up. It's all the way down. Once it's raised up, then we can do it. organizing that back trailer I'm gonna help out here so about 30 minutes of this and maybe I'll put a dent take care of from here to there we are almost done as you can see all of this is good got like two piles left this one and right there where that trailer door is well the side of the trailer the rest of it we'll put it to a couple of these bins that's that then we can focus on uh putting those bins in the trailer and then chaining up that trailer so we're out of here so close so close all that hard work paid off i'm gonna do a test and that out on my spreader bar to see if the trailer's holding you ready dave yeah. all right so i'm gonna release all tension on this line and if all went well the trailer should hold beginning when this was completely cracked in the middle what David and I did right now it was a bit dark but you can see I got the Omega link chains on each outrigger with uh, a lot of 3 8 chain running parallel underneath the frame with two chain binders on each side and get rid of all the slack tightening it really really good so it's pulling it from the bottom this way preventing it preventing it from uh, collapsing The, the Mexican Freddy Krueger? Yep. Freddy Krueger? The cops said they're from the color bottles. Yeah, they put them on a, on a heater, the heater blows hot air and it expands. 
That's what the guy told me through their Coca-Cola bottles. That's how they make them. I believe no wonder they got this dog rod. Hey, you think they're gonna use those ones? These? Yeah. Someone's uh, gonna be drinking it like, hey, this tastes funny. I, I've been smelling that. Yeah, right? So this is the last of it. All this is clean. Crap ton of labor. A lot, a lot of labor. You just to go look at this. This is the only part left. Look, let me go down a bit more. Done. Wow. So this is gonna look really funny right now. As Dave pulls forward, I have this suspended in the front. If anything, I'll probably go up with the boom a little bit. Now I'm gonna back up my tractor underneath. We got a Pepe tractor underneath this trailer. so we can get this last of the cleanup. This is all that's left. I'm talking about tens and tens of thousands of these things everywhere. The guy didn't want the, well, the sweeper wouldn't work. These things are too big. Everything was by hand. Nothing but shovels and brooms. tractor back and it means we can 100% remove the spreader bar. Put it in here. In there, huh? 
with the forklift. Excellent. Now comes the fun part of putting my spreader bar away. Quick and easy process. I'll just boom up, retract the boom, and let it fall in place right here. Now that it's safe and put away, we can put the rest of Hulk away. Oh man. There's still the piece of the trailer, the side of it that's up there. We're gonna use both forklifts to put it up in that trailer. Secure it. And then it's go time. All right, proud of my team. Home stretch. Oops, gotta tuck in this outrigger. stretch proud of my team everyone's hustling hard all put away looking good uh, this held well they went forward and back so that'll make it to the yard no problem this is the last little pallet once this is done we're gonna load it up in the, the trailer right here the good one and then we're out of here I'll probably do a quick walk around when we get back to the shop and maybe uh, a drive-by next to this on the freeway that's gonna look funny. my team did tens of thousands from right there at that CHP car to 
all the way up here. Take care of all that for them. Customer's gonna drive away in his uh, tractor trailer. We loaded it up. I got all the trucks put away. Dave and the crew are just putting the final straps so that doesn't fall out. We got a convertible now. Very fun drive back to the shop. This is our La Puente yard. Doesn't look too bad from this side, right? There's the one that hit it. Well, I'm not sure the story of who caused what, but uh, the driver of the one that we towed with all the, the load said this guy either abruptly stopped or um, I don't know, slammed on the brakes, causing the other driver to swerve. And because this is a hard sided trailer, you, you hear it. The other one was the soft side of the trailer. It stood no chance. In fact, it hit so bad, that's half of the wall. So when the guy hit, he hit at the perfect angle to just boom, slice it in half. And half of it went here. The other half stayed on the freeway, which is what we loaded with the forklift. Major damage. And look, the door's in here too. <laughs> Absolutely no one got hurt in this, believe it or not. So that's always a plus. Uh, and now we're out of here. Peace.